Hi, this is Gopal and uh, welcome to the Relational Database Management System tutorial and this is the eighth part, okay? And in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about normalization and uh, this tutorial is uh, basically going to be a theory based, okay? It will not be um, writing some SQL queries here. So I'll just make you understand what is normalization and why do we need normalization, okay? So the first question that comes in your mind or anybody's mind is why should we normalize our database table right okay before I you know explain uh, all this let me tell you that uh, for any database designer okay the most important goal is to save memory or to save space because what is database database is simply a memory location that we are using to store our data in an organized manner all right so we need to optimize the space okay now how do we optimize the space <clears throat> if we can store more information in less memory then we can we are optimizing our table right now the problem that we generally end up if we you know design our database in a casual manner what we will end up is we'll have duplicate data, okay or what we call in technical terms is called redundant data or the table has got redundant information now that is one of the reasons uh, why we should normalize our table all right that means we should make our table free of redundant data okay and if we have uh, a very uh, normalized table what we will be benefited is we can have shorter SQL queries or SQL queries and we can get the data or the information fetched from the table really quickly and easily all right <clears throat> basically these are the most important reason there are other reasons which uh, I'll be you know uh, telling you over the course over the tutorials but for now just remember two things that first is to free our table from redundant data and to make our SQL queries faster and easier and shorter all right yes so this is why the concept of normalization came into being all right okay now one thing before we proceed on how would we normalize our table I need to talk about one thing really important or perhaps the most important part you would be always you know uh, thinking about is atomic data okay now what is atomic data okay let me <laughs> write it down if you can't hear me it's atomic data all right atomic data is a data which cannot be divided further okay uh, as we know the definition of atom which cannot be divided or further that is atom the smallest thing but here is a condition the condition is we will divide our data depending on how will we use or for what purpose do we use that table that means it really depends on the user on how he will use his data or uh, he will use his database to access the information and on that basis the data should be divided okay that is more confusing I know but let me give an bang example to understand uh, in a lightning fast speed all right just look at this so let, let's see here's an example I've created for you this is a database uh, for pizza order address database okay now here as we can see we have two columns a name and a street address all right now a street address as you can see it contains street number and a street name right and the name as suppose it contains rock pal sheen gary and tom okay now for a pizza order database the pizza guy who you know generally delivers the pizza what he needs is the total address that means including the street number and the street name so for him this thing is atomic it it is not required or he doesn't needs it to be divided further it is atomic already 
All right. For a table like, uh, say, real estate vacancy database, that means uh, vacancy of uh, apartments, colonies, house. For such database, uh, one may need to know that uh, there are how many uh, uh, vacancies are there in a particular street name. Say, in a BA road, there could be apartments, there could be colonies, there could be thousands of uh, numbers of uh, colonies and apartments vacant, right? So he needs the particular name of that street, right? So for him, it is atomic. He cannot have that whole street number and street name included in a column, and that would not be atomic for him. So this is the concept, the reason. So let me sum, up, sum it up. Atomic data really depends on how would you query your database, okay? Okay, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, see you on the next tutorial. And uh, thank you for watching and please, please subscribe, okay?